it is time, once again, for me to play some Unreal Craft. I'm starting here because I have been informed to record the next time I play. So I'm gonna put another 69 on the ground. But that's actually <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> uh, so I've been told that apparently I'm doing. I'm at 20 frames a second. Seriously, I've been told that I've been essentially pranked again. So I will. Oh, oh, this actually I like this. This is what I've thought to like have in the center part of our portal room ever since uh, we started talking about creating the Nether Hub. Also, how the heck do we get up to the top? Well, this is an issue. Is there a way to get up to the old hub? Well, anyways, yes. So, um, I've been pranked essentially. I don't think I, I don't I don't I need to figure out how to get to the top of the hub. <laughs> I'll see you guys at my base or when I see something unusual, I suppose. Well, one, two, three. <laughs> uh, I hope this cleanup isn't massive. Okay, let's see what do we have here. What do we have? Oh boy, Mario! Hey, Chris, since you're helping a Mario game, and especially because you are by far the best Mario player I've ever laid eyes on, ain't that the truth? I've decided to make you a giant Mario statue in honor. Hope you enjoy. What is this? It? Is is, is there nothing else here? Okay, that is not even really a prank. That is just pure awesomeness. I don't even want to take this down. Well, actually, I'll probably have to take it down. I might move it somewhere instead, though. Because that's actually really cool. Oh, man, where would I put it, though? That should totally go somewhere. That should, like, go on top of this hill or something. That should go, like, right there. Oh, that's actually really freaking cool. I've never done pixel art in my life in Minecraft, but, like, that, that's really freaking cool. Oh, man. <laughs> well then, I was initially gonna make this uh, prank episode. I was I came here expecting to see a, a huge prank that was like really difficult to fix, but apparently that's not the case. So yeah, I mean I'm gonna have to take it down. But um, sorry, I, I was trying. I cl my timer closed down for some reason. I froze or something. I'm gonna have to take it down, but I'm probably gonna just move it over somewhere else because this is too cool to move. Or, I mean, take down. That's really cool. Thank you, Zo. That's actually really neat. Or Zoes, or however we should be pronouncing your name, or I should be pronouncing your name. I guess this is just gonna turn to an episode of Unreal <laughs> Craft, since that's kind of way too short for a prank video, isn't it? Hmm. What shall we do today? I kind of just jumped in here without really thinking of what we were gonna do today because, well. I mean, I expected there to be a giant prank to clean it up. <laughs> I like your church, Javos. I thought that said something different for a second there. What's that? What the heck is that? Uh oh. I don't like that. Where is that coming from? Let's see if I can figure this out. Is that some kind of glitch or did someone did someone else prank me here? Wait one cotton picking minute. <laughs> what is this? I do not even know, bro. It sounds like a minecart going around in circles. Let's go back upstairs and see if it's there. I'm so confused right now. Is this part of Zoe's prank or is this someone else pranking me? Or you can hear it here. Oh man. I have to be very quiet. Oh man. I'm gonna spend so long looking for this. Our series, who did this? Oh no. I'm so bad with finding noises. I don't even have any to oh, I do have torches. I'm so bad with finding noises. 
I could have like a zombie spawner right beside me and I wouldn't find it for days. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that was leg. Good leg. Oh, this is this is totally just what I dug out, isn't it? Yeah, it totally is. Oh man. Well, I guess we're gonna go figure out what the heck this is and I'll see you guys in a second. I just dug down here. I found it. Who is this? So you're hearing things. Hey, hope this helps. You're slow to send it into insanity, Mr. UFO. Oh my. Imagine having like five of these. Or like even more than that. Imagine having like ten of these just like freaking strewn about my base. I would enjoy. That would seriously. I would go off the deep end. I'm actually kind of surprised I found that so quickly. <laughs> I just heard a noise, and then I went to like the middle of the room, and I noticed it was louder in the middle of the room, and I just dug straight down and found it. Oh man, Mr. Green Hippo, you are evil, sir, and I love it. <laughs> I don't know why that turned creepy for. <laughs> but dude, look, he even, uh, do I have any, no, I don't have any cobblestone left. He even put a torch in here so things wouldn't spawn. Oh, how nice of him, dang it. I need, I need to go in this way, please. Okay, apparently this is just to clean up people's crap pranks episode, or not crap pranks, I was going to say crap. Clean up other people's crap when they came out as pranks, so I can't place that, there we go. <laughs> you hear that? You guys, pranks are crap! I'm just kidding. Okay. So! How, how are y'all doing? Huh? Huh? I don't know, I said so really. Um... Oh boy, uh, what shall I talk? I could talk about my adventures. I was talking about uh, the Red River X in the last episode and how I was going to it and how I was so excited. And I finally went and it was a pretty good day. Um, for weeks, it was actually, um, yeah, in the last episode I talked about how I was really angry at my friends because we were supposed to go and they ended up not going, oh. Oh, nice. I actually have these stone slabs. I want these. I want these in my belly, belly, belly. I don't know why. I don't know why my belly in specific. Um, but yeah, so my... Uh, my f bleh. Last episode, I discussed how uh, we were supposed to go to a fair called the Red River X with my friends. But my friends decided not to go the particular day I wanted to go because uh, of the rain. And then, But I thought at the time that was my only day to go. So I was really angry at them because they decided not to go even though it was my only day to go. Um, but then it turned out I could go the day that we went, which was this Saturday, the Saturday that's passed. But when you guys are seeing this, it's Saturday, but uh, a week before that, that's that Saturday. And it was really fun, but like for weeks, or the long term weather forecast said it was supposed to rain, so I was like, oh god, it better not rain. And it totally rained, but I was actually okay with it because it rains. Uh, it was about 9 p.m. I think it started to rain and storm and lightning. It was very very frightening. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia. <laughs> uh, so I mean, it was kind of sad that it did rain and we had to leave uh, a few hours early. We, uh, the X goes on until 12 a.m. So midnight. Um, and I we do normally stay till the 12 a.m. and everything shuts down. But it kind of sucked. We didn't get to stay till the end. But you know, at least I got to go and not waste my ticket and waste my excitement. Um, but I got sunburned for the very first time in my life. For some reason, I've gotten very lucky with um, getting sunburned in the past. As in, I never get sunburned ever. I don't know why. I just for some reason my body is resistant to sunburning but at the same time like I'll be outside for like two hours and I'll suntan like my body will look gorgeous in the suntanians <laughs> I don't know why but like yeah two hours is all I really need in the sun and then like my body will look very nice that looks really cool I just thought of this like on the spot like, or not on the spot I thought of this like 20 minutes before recording this episode where I was thinking of layouts for this room and then I thought I should put a little path and it looks kind of cool maybe I'll have that go all throughout this room as well uh, but we'll worry about that later uh, but yeah the Red River X was fun uh, I spent like minus the $37 ticket I probably spent around 40 bucks on food and drinks alone a cup of lemonade cost six bucks I know it's crazy right it's freaking crazy <laughs> 
No, but seriously, um, yeah, I'm on with no one today. Have we already for me? Do we have, what do we have for wood? Hmm. Oh, that is spruce wood. Okay, that's kind of what I want, to be honest. Can I be honest? I have too much crap. Look at all this crap in my inventory. Why do I have all this obsidian? Oh, that's Mr. Green Hippo's crap. That's right. There he is. 69 prank thing on spawn. Ah, uh, but yes. So, yeah, I'm sunburned for the first time in my life. My shoulders got sunburned and they're flaking today, which is really weird because, you know, coming from someone who's never been sunburned before is like, uh, how do I respond to this? Do I just put uh, moisturizer on it and that's it? Do I peel the skin off? Like, what do I do? I saw a Family Guy episode recently where Stewie suntanned and he, like, peeled off all his skin and he had skin cancer, but it turned out not to be skin cancer. Whoa! Holy crap, that hole in the ground scared me for some reason. I don't really even know why. I should probably cover this up or otherwise I'm going to regret it. Yeah, I would have monsters spawn here for sure, and then I'd get really angry at, as to why I'm he hearing zombies. <laughs> but yeah, so I got sunburned. I went on a whole bunch of rides. All the rides I pretty much wanted to go on, they're fun. The lines were actually really freaking large and took a lot longer than normal. I'm pretty sure this is like the busiest year I've ever seen the X. I don't know if it's the busiest year ever, but I felt like there was a significant amount of people there. At least more than there ever have been, but you know, that could just be me imagining things which is definitely not possible i never imagined things <laughs> um but yeah so it was really freaking busy there and it rained and we all had to run out and the rain actually hurt like the rain it was like a really hard rain it would like punch you in the face and it would like punch me in the face and be very angry of flying uh do i like this i'm not too sure if i'm if i fancy this do i fancy this well, we could finish it all up in here and see what it looks like. I guess we'll do this entire room like this, right? Yeah, I guess that makes the most sense. With my freaking McDonald's M. <laughs> what can I say? I just love the McDonald's. Uh, do I have any other stories from the X? Mm, not really. It was fairly uneventful. I feel like... Every year I go, I, f I get really excited for it, but then I go and I'm s not really disappointed, but I mean, it's not as fun as I would imagine it be being inside of my brain, you know, my head brain. I did have fun, but at the same time, I was like, I was expecting it to be more than what it was, I suppose. Um, but I guess that's kind of what happens growing up. I have less fun at things like that. <laughs> Maybe. Is that a thing? I feel like that's a thing. Excuse me, I burped. Uh, so I guess that's all we really have to say about the Red River X. To tell the story how about someone died there last year. So there's this, um, there's a crazy mouse coaster, which if you don't know, it's a coaster <laughs> with mice and it kind of plays on the whole fact that, like, um, it jerks you around a whole lot, it jerks you off, and it feels very nice. I mean, wait, what? <laughs> No, uh, it, uh, how do I explain it? It's kind of like you'll be going one way and suddenly you'll you'll spin it and jerk off to the... <laughs> I'm so hard to say it with a straight face. You'll jerk to like to the left or something and it'll, you'll like feel your body... You'll, you'll feel like you're about to like fall off or something. But anyway, someone died on that last year. Not on the coaster itself, but apparently he dropped his hat when he was on the coaster and he jumped the fence that he was not supposed to do. And then like he got hit in the head by the coaster or something like that. And then, uh, he died, and, I mean, people have been, like, freaking out, we're like, THE X IS UNSAFE, YOU die. PEOPLE DIE THERE, but in reality, it's like, well, I mean, if you're jumping fences, like, yeah, you probably shouldn't have done that, dude. That's called the Darwin Effect. Is it the effect? It might not be the Darwin Effect, it might just be Dar Darwinism. That thing where it says, survival of the fittest, stupid people die, blah blah blah. That thing. <clears throat> So, as far as I know, there was no big events there. Uh, one of my co-workers was telling me last year he's on the cleanup crew. Or he was on the cleanup crew and they get paid to go clean up the area, essentially. The X is essentially hosted at a giant parking lot. I like this. I actually really like this. It feels not finished because I gotta do this wall and the roof and that wall and... But yeah, otherwise it feels really nice in here. Ha! Huh, neat, that turned out better than I thought it would. I'm gonna put glowstone in the center of the room, I guess. Because I don't want these torchies hogging up the space. 
Um, but yeah, so my, one of my coworkers was telling me he, he's on the cleanup crew, and uh, last year, he wasn't this year, but last year he uh, was doing his normal cleanup routine. Is that going to light on fire? Oh my god, I don't understand all this lake all of a sudden. I should probably reset the server or something. Not the map, just the server. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Um, yeah, he's on the cleanup crew. They're cleaning it up. They go to the bathrooms. The woman's bathroom, in fact. And in the toilets, they, uh... How do I put this? They found a fetus. In the toilet. And what do you do when you find a fetus in the toilet? Well, their, op their, their, their ideas were either to like report it or just flush it down and be done with it. And they decided to flush it down. Probably would have been better to report it because that's kind of really messed up. Uh, but no, they flushed it down and I lost a heard of that. That's really sad. It's like, that's weird. And how does that even happen? I, I don't understand. So that was a thing, and that was a very, I felt like that was a very awkward story to talk about. <laughs> and I should not be laughing at that. But, I need an axe. Do I have an axe? Can I ask anybody a question? I do not have an axe. I believe I gave my axe to Jay. Did I tell that story? How, um, we were messing around in the nether, and I killed, or, Jay was on my minecart in my nether tunnel one night, and I placed a whole bunch of blocks and he suffocated in the blocks and instead of his items spewing on the floor apparently it went up through the nether and got lost and I don't know if I like that better or not and like got lost so I had to like I had to replace his um, axe and uh, his pickaxe and shovel he didn't ask for it but I felt like it was the correct thing to do I don't know if I like that or not I might just stick with the spruce wood. I kind of feel like I overcomplicate things in my patterns. Like, I don't need to do all this crap and, like, I should have just left it the way it was. <laughs> uh, I feel like I just had to fit too much in my build or something like that. Um, let's try this. Um, no, that feels too wonky. And if it's also too dark now, I might get a better idea if I keep this cleaner that uh, hmm what about this block I don't know I don't think I like that very much but at the same time it also looks kind of awkward for it to just end here what if we did this what would happen if we went like this I kind of like that better I think <laughs> I'm not really sure to be honest. Okay, bay oldest. Hmm. I think I just kind of like this to be honest. I like that better. I like that color better. I want to put this to match with that, but I think I like the dark wood better. Hmm. So it's been a while since I started working. I think it's been like a month and a half since I got a full-time job, and. I, I gotta say, I don't feel like I've been doing that great at it. Like, I'm a pretty slow learner, if I'm being honest. I'm pretty slow at, like, learning... I don't want to say physical things, but, like, anything, like... Um, that's... I, I, physical, I guess, is the only word I can really think of off the top of my head. Um, I, I, I kind of suck at learning, to be honest. Once I get it, I can... I, I enjoy, like, improving it and making it better. But... The learning progress for me can certainly be pretty freaking slow. And I think I'm actually starting to get the hand of things finally. <laughs> and my boss came up to me. He was walking by me. Oh, I kind of like that, actually. What would happen if I dug through this and put stone these stone slabs there as well? I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it like that for now. I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of a cross. You know, got to keep with the cross theme. <laughs> Uh, where's, where's my nether stuff? Where's my... I think my... N no. Ah, glowstone. There we go. That's what I, that's what I was looking for. Oh, yeah. So, my boss was walking with, um, one of the other workers. Is that the... Is that where I want this? Uh, three... Four... Hmm. Let's try right there and right here. 
Right? Do I like these areas? Well, I better, because I just placed them there. <laughs> okay, so my boss was walking by with another employee while I'm sweeping the floor. He almost suddenly looks at me, stops dead in his tracks, stares me down for like two seconds. I just look, I'm like, uh, do, do you need something? And he just, he just like, come here. I'm like, o okay. So I walk over to him. He gives me a giant hug. And he's like, you're awesome, man. I'm like, what? He's like, you're just always doing something. You're always working. He's like, I'm really impressed with you lately. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> as awkward as possible. It was actually, it really wasn't. Well, I, no, actually, I'm not going to lie. The, the hug was pretty freaking awkward. And just my frame rate leg again. Uh, but, yeah, I, so, I mean, I don't know. I've, I've always felt like, um, people always say, like, I'm the best worker here. No one knows how to work. I'm the only one that knows how to work properly and do my job. But I, no, I'm not the opposite, but I feel like I've, I, I just do okay at my job. Like I don't feel like I'm any I'm special in any way. That I just kind of do things like what's expected of me, I guess. But every single boss I've ever had, with the exception of when I was a mascot, they've always loved me, and I I've not really understood why. Like I understand maybe liking me because I'm I find I'm pretty easy to get along with, and unless you're out to like. Be mean to me in which case I kind of don't take no shit from nobody's <laughs> but um yeah I don't understand like every boss I've ever had just seemed to like me for some strange reason and I don't really understand but you know it's kind of going with it I guess <laughs> uh, but yeah okay I'm just kind of wandering around here because I don't really know what I what, what the heck I want to do with this wall <sighs> what block might look good I'm like clay no I mean, I guess it's going to even have to be like this stone brick or like some kind of wood. Huh. I want to dig this out and make it like an enchanting room. Ooh, give me that go. But, um, I don't even know how. I don't understand why I haven't even dug this out yet, to be honest, because it's like this take this would take two seconds and like enchanting rooms are that big. <laughs> Hmm, unless I want to do anything special in here, but I don't think I do, and I should not probably ruin these walls by mining up this coal, but whatever, I'm a freaking gangster. Oh! So yeah, my boss gave me a big hug, he was like, you're the best, Chris. But not really, he he said something to those lines, so although... But yeah, so that's really my work story for now. Uh, work's been generally, like, I've been getting... I've, I've definitely noticed myself improving every single day, which is pretty great. Um, it's nice to have, like, a sense of improvement I guess okay if the enchanting table is right here that means the books are gonna all be right there uh, which means there's gonna be books right here maybe I should dig this one more deeper I'm gonna dig this one more freaking deeper there we go there we go man there we go <coughs> excuse me <laughs> okay so the enchanting table might would go right here then Right. Okay, because I'm going to have books, 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 books. Dang it. I don't want to place that there. My finger twitched. Um, hmm. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. But yeah, so I, I've been improving day by day, and it's been getting less and less stressful, which is great. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know if I want to do this for the rest of my life. I really don't know. It's like, it's more of like a... This job is more catered towards being a career instead of a job, I guess. Like, you can get paid quite a bit eventually, but at the same time, it's not really something I'm that interested in. So, I don't really freaking know what I want to do with that. I feel like I should have, like, a freaking staircase. Like, have a, have, um, a, pissed, a secret door behind my bookcases that goes up to my portal. <gasps> what a great idea. It could be, like, my panic room or something. Oh, I should just have a secret enchanting room in general, to be honest. Have, like, a switch, like, behind here or some crap. I don't freaking know. These furnaces here are temporary, by the way. Or are they? Nah, they probably should be. I should make, like, that room right there, a furnace room. And, like, this room over here could be, like, a freaking uh, brewing room or something like that. I don't really know. Um, I guess I'm going to call an episode here. 
I don't feel like we did very much this episode, but what else is new? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. What should I take the screenshot for from this for the next episode? Oh my god, I feel that frame rate drops. I don't understand why I get frame rate drops, but I do. We are very slowly making progress towards this, and I feel like I should make post out a lot more videos in a row so I like don't spend months and months and months working on this one freaking room. If you guys enjoyed it, please please feel free to leave likes on already. My name's Chris. In the next episode I will talk to you guys about the time when I was in elementary school and I got in trouble for someone else stealing a little girl's popcorn. Yeah, that, that that's an actual story that hopefully I'll remember to tell in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.